guys, this is Kylie with Strive here. How are you guys doing? Are you having a good week so far? If you're kind of like down in the dumps, not feeling the best, hopefully this flow will help bring you out of that. It's a happiness yoga flow and it includes a lot of poses that will boost your mood, get your endorphins flowing, and other things like that. So I hope you enjoy it. And just before we get started, I wanted to tell you guys that my husband Justin has recently taken to yoga which is super exciting for me because for the longest time I've always wanted him to do it with me and he wasn't really interested which that was totally fine like I get it people have their different things but the fact that he likes it and actually wants to do it with me sometimes is oh, so exciting so my question for you guys is does your significant other do they like to do yoga with you and if so, have you guys tried any partner yoga? We like dabbled in partner yoga a little bit this weekend, just on our own. Um, and yeah, well it was a lot of fun. It was also pretty funny. Um, yeah, wobbly all over the place. But still a good workout, good laugh. What more can you ask for? And on that note, I look forward to hearing your responses um, in the comments below. Seriously guys, I love hearing from you. And then, yeah, we will get started. I will shut my mouth here. <laughs> All right, so we are actually going to come down onto the mat and start in cat-cow. So make sure your hands are lined up underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Inhale, bring your head up. Lower your belly down. Exhale, head down. Round your back, tucking your belly under. In, inhale up, exhale down, get into the yoga flow, nice and slow, inhale up, exhale down, two more of each, inhale up, exhale down, Inhale up, exhale down. While we're here on our hands and our knees, I'd like you to extend your left leg, but flex. Try to turn your toes down rather than letting your hip open to the side. It's kind of hard to do. Just be mindful of that. I definitely am trying to do that. Um, and then lengthen out your right arm. Let me scoop back. There we go. Okay, keep your core tight. Try not to drop your belly down. Try to keep it tucked in. Nice and strong here. And then take it in, extending your left arm out and your right leg out. And be mindful of your tummy here. Bring it in, let's do eight more. Take it out, keep the belly tight. Take it in. That was four. Six more. Five. Six. Inhale as you lengthen. Seven. Nice and slow here. Eight. Two more. Nine. One more. That was 10. All right. From here, I'd like you to push back into downward facing dog. Okay. And here, as always, I like to pedal out my feet. I like to twist my hips, my body. So do whatever feels good to you. In this moment, All right, come back to a regular downward facing dog. Focus on pressing all of your knuckles into the mat, spreading your fingers wide, driving your heels down into the mat, hucking your belly and keeping it nice and tight. Three more breaths. Eight. 
Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise up. Crescent lunge. Lift the toes on your front foot. Focus on pressing your knee out towards your pinky toe. Scissor your legs into one another or in towards each other. Help square off your hips. Live, active fingers here. Maybe not active, although you can wiggle them if you want, but just make them alive. Vibrant fingers. Exhale, bring both hands down to the mat. Step back into plank. Lower all the way down onto your belly. Arms by your sides. We're going to lift up into locust and hold for three breaths. Lower down, place your hands on the mat. Excuse me, my nose is itchy. Press up into plank and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your left leg up this time. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, bring both hands down to the mat, step back into plank, lower all the way down onto your belly, locust pose, lift up, hold, deep breaths here. Exhale down, place both hands on the mat, push up into plank, and back into downward facing dog. Inhale, extend your right leg up. Exhale, sweep it through. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Once you get situated, thinking about your form, um, bring your arms behind your head. So clasp your hands together. Right kind of at the base of your head. Okay, like this. And then whoop, wobble, <laughs> if you're anything like me. <laughs> Once you're nice and steady, go ahead and open up the chest just a bit more. Okay, so a slight bend in your back. Exhale, bring both hands down to the mat, lower all the way down. Arms by your sides, hands together this time. Lift up, locust pose. Relax down to the mat, hands on the mat by your shoulders. Push up into plank and back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, sweep it through. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Bring your hands together, place them behind the lower part of your head, and then bend your back as it feels good to you. Opening up your chest. Back bends are great for boosting happiness. Exhale down. 
Step back into plank, lower all the way down onto your belly. Again, hands behind your back. Lift up, locust pose. Three breaths. Lower down, hands on the mat. Rise up into plank. Chaturanga here, so elbows close to your sides. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, sweep it through. Turn your back foot sideways, rise up, warrior two. Bring your right arm up, bend your arm, bring your left hand behind your back and clasp your hands together. If you can't reach, bring a towel and you can use that to hold on to or you can grab onto your shirt. Okay, you need to hold here, tuck your tailbone under, toes on your right foot are up, knee out towards your pinky toe, pressing strongly into the back foot as well as your front foot. And then you can kind of lean back just a bit here, getting in that back bend again. Release your arms down, bring both hands down to the mat, step back into plank, inhale here, exhale chaturanga, Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, sweep it through. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. So turn your back foot sideways before, like we did on the other side, if that worked for you. All right. So take a moment to get settled, tucking your tailbone under, really opening up your hips out to the side. Bring your left arm up this time, bend at the elbow, right arm behind your back. Clasp your hands together as best you can. Hold here. Relax your arms down, bring both hands down to the mat, step back into plank. Look at your hands here, step or jump forwards. Slowly rise up. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, relax your arms by your sides. And then you can go ahead and turn sideways on your mat for goddess pose. So widen your stance here. Toes turn diagonally outwards. And then you're going to bend your knees. Try to keep your tailbone tucked under. Belly nice and tight. Bring your hands up, palms facing up. Bring your thumb and your pointer finger together. Okay, so nice and open here. Think about how you are in control of your happiness. You are strong, you are capable. You are amazing. Alright, you can slowly 
stand up, straighten your legs, and make your way down onto the mat. Okay, so onto your knees, and then standing up on your knees, camel pose. Another back bend. Woohoo, more happiness. So you're going to press your thighs forwards as you open up your chest here. So start by placing your hands on your lower back. Okay, and then press your thighs forwards, open up the chest, arch your back, stay here, or slowly start to walk your hands down to a level that's comfortable for you, okay? And if you want to go all the way down like this, feel free. You can also flatten your feet and hold here. Okay, let's hold for five breaths. Slowly start to make your way up and out of the pose. And then make your way down onto your back, okay? We're going to do a wheel. So if you are not ready to do a wheel or you just don't feel like it, then feel free to do a bridge. And for those of you that might not know what that is, you're simply going to bring the glutes up just like this. Okay, and those of you joining me for a wheel, Go ahead and position yourself, and on an inhale, lift up, and hold five breaths. Make your way back down onto your mat after your five breaths. And just stay here a moment. You can windshield wiper your legs from side to side if that feels good to you. Bring your knees into your chest. Give your legs a nice big hug. And then relax back down onto your mat for Supta Baddha Konasana. So you're going to bring the bottoms of your feet together, relax your knees down towards the mat, palms open, arms out to the side, and this is kind of our Shavasana today. So settle in, melt into your mat. If this is uncomfortable, if it's too tight in your hips or it's uncomfortable for your knees, feel free to put blocks or pillows underneath your knees or simply do a regular Shavasana. time, make your way to a seated position. All right. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you're feeling happy, or at least happier than you were, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your week, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.